can't get it. <laughs> the rest of us are fine. Well, I guess that explains why you're such a skeleton. <laughs> Your teeth get in the way. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Welcome to our special Christmas episode, featuring Locke, Shock, and Beryl. So, on today's episode, we will be discussing, as you can tell, Nightmare Before Christmas, including two big topics. The first one being the ultimate debate, is Nightmare Before Christmas a Halloween movie or a Christmas movie? And the second topic of debate is, is Jack Skellington going through a midlife crisis? But... Starting off, drinks. Oh yes, I'm... which you can't see in our lovely little mugs here. But take my face off. <laughs> face off. <gasps> it is a lovely hot spiced, a hot <laughs> mold spiced. What is it? Mold or spiced or both? I don't know. What does the book say? What does the book say? I need to. We open the book. Move that, probably. Let's open the book. Hi, Stan. Hi, Carver. Hi, Fenris. Hi, random elf lady. Hi, Calpurnia. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I love that picture so much. So. I can't get the page with my fingers. <laughs> Thank you. Ta-da. Spiced so, wine. Our spiced wine comes from... Dragon Ages, World of Fatus, Volume 2. They have recipes in the back, including a spiced wine recipe, which is what is featured in our cups today. Now, we will not be mixing it on set because it is something that needs to be heated on a stove, and we already did that before we started filming. But we will go over... I need to see. The ingredients, which is... Our needs our eyeballs. <laughs> Our ingredients are a bottle of rich red wine, one orange, one lemon, one apple cut into small pieces, eight to 12 whole cloves, two or three sticks of cinnamon broken into smaller pieces, one teaspoon of freshly grated nutmeg, one teaspoon of dried ginger, five tablespoons of honey, dark brown sugar, about four to eight tablespoons or to taste, and one cup of good brandy. Now, Spices can get a little pricey. So what we did was we took the basic outline of this recipe and we used a spice blend that included uh, cinnamon, uh, dried orange peel, uh, cloves, nutmeg, ginger. So we included a lot of the spices that were already in the recipe. Mm -hmm. It's just slightly different because... Yeah. Shout out to one of my customers who provided me with a lovely little baggie of spices from our discussion on... Wines. So thanks to her for contributing to our drink today. <laughs> so um, thanks for ensuring that we get drunk. <laughs> <laughs> so all that we did was we took the bottle of wine and put it into a big pot with equal amounts of water. And then we added the spices, the orange peel and the orange juice, but not the orange, the lemon peel and the lemon juice, but not the lemon and the apple slices and all the spices and the brandy was put in um, second to last because we did the honey and brown sugar last as a sweetener because you want to start in slow increments so you don't make it too sweet. Yeah. Um, so it's a pretty simple recipe. Then you just kind of let it um, slowly heat it. Do not bring it to a boil. You want to let it slowly heat because you don't want it to burn. Um, so that is the recipe for spiced wine that we got out of a video game book. Yay! So why does it say a good brandy? Like, because well, no one crappy wants, alcohol yeah, No one wants to drink bad, bad brandy. Well, yes. I'm just curious why do they have to specify good? Because that's just what they specified. Yeah, fair enough. I didn't know in Thetis they had bottom and top shelf liquors. <laughs> of course they do. Yeah, you know. <laughs> I thought it was all just whatever. We have the crappy alcohol for all the people slumming it in Darktown. Yeah. And we have the good alcohol for Fenris. <laughs> <laughs> I get that reference. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you do. Yep, I do. Yep. 
So, <laughs> shall we try yeah. our... So this is my first time having spiced wine. It's my first time having spiced wine, too, actually. As <laughs> well as mine! Yay! Yay. And That's it's cool. a good hot drink. Yeah, I've been tear. smelling this all evening. Oh, my uh, God. Just... Oh, my God, that is so good. Well, that's dangerous. <laughs> oh, that is delicious. Isn't that really good? Oh, my God, that's so good. Oh, you really taste the apple. Yeah. Well, I we got, got a, we've got a slice of apple in here, too, so that helps. But, but oh, help. this is so good. It's very warming. Oh, my gosh. Very warming. Yeah, should should we mention that when you you have to strain it and then keep the apple on the side? Yeah, you probably want to strain it because there's going to be a lot of little bits of cloves spices and cinnamon and, and yeah spices and and peel and stuff so all we did was we strained it into a punch bowl which is off here screen. to <laughs> off screen to my right here and um oh, no. then we took the apples out of it and they're just floating in there and we've got one each in our cup <clears throat> and so that's been soaking in the spicy alcohol your hair's messed up i know i figured i'm just so wild after this <laughs> terrible. <laughs> so, um, other geek news. Apparently the actress says banning Princess Leia's bikini is stupid. Thank what? you, Carrie Fisher. I, this what? is news I don't know to anything me. about this. What do, what do they mean, banning her bikini? I'm assuming that people well, they are getting up in arms yeah. about the, about the Slave Leia. About it being Slave Leia and being sexist and that's like. That's the point! Um, yeah, that's. I guess I guess there are some people out there who think that it should be banned because of what it portrays. Banned, banned how though? Like what? Like it, not in conventions, I imagine. That's stupid, considering all the millions of costumes people wear at conventions that are basically the same thing, just mm -hmm. like other characters. Yeah, like people. Well, walk, Carrie Fisher says it's people stupid. walk through conventions you, in like bikini esque costumes like all the time. So yeah. why should? Yeah, but. Either way, yeah. it's like they're missing the point of the whole Slave Leia outfit. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't... I mean, granted, it... He didn't do it because she wanted to wear it. Jabba's just like, here, wear this for my my, my pleasure. And you're gonna have this heavy chain, and then you're gonna check me with it later. Because, you know, that's how... <laughs> that's how that thing goes. <laughs> Am I but, wrong? But, I mean... Oh my god! What? Nintendo releases karaoke version of video games theme song. Mario Brothers. <laughs> Mario Brothers theme song. Revealing lyrics. Oh. This is exciting news to me. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know, I, I, didn't know I had lyrics. Apparently, that's what it says. Da, Mario da, Brothers. Da, da, Nintendo releases lyrics, karaoke da, version da, of video da. games theme song. Revealing lyrics. Mario and Luigi. And apparently Harry Styles gets a tattoo live on the Late Late Show. <laughs> have, he has he wood. <laughs> That's a trending topic. I guess. Um, I guess a series of unfortunate events got uh, casting. Netflix casting for upcoming TV series based on Lemony Snicket books. Oh, they're going to do a TV they're gonna series? Do, they're going to do well, a Netflix series. That's good because the movie was kind of shit. Yeah. So. My sister some, loves those books. Got some interesting information here. I have to tell her about that. Or she can find out this way. Very true. By watching and sharing to all your friends. <laughs> Seriously, spread us around the internet. <laughs> Make us a virus. I don't I mean, want to be a virus. We are an error. I don't yeah. want to be a virus. Do you want to be a broken Lopez? Error. Error. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we should move on to our main topic. Yes. Our main topic of discussion. Or I should say the first point of our main topic is the eternal debate that seems to be going around on occasion is, yeah. is Nightmare Before Christmas a yeah. Christmas movie or, or a, a Halloween, Halloween movie? movie? All here in favor of it being a Christmas movie. And that's why it's our Christmas special. Exactly. I mean, the first point is in the frickin' title, Nightmare Before Christmas. Halloween yeah. is not in the title. 
A lot of people say that because Jack is the king of Halloween and it takes place in Halloween Town, that it's a Halloween movie. And look, it's a bunch of ghouls and goblins. If you want to watch it on Halloween, that's great because it is kind of a Halloween movie. But the entire premise of the movie is them preparing to take over Christmas. Yeah, Yeah. the entire movie is centered towards Christmas. Yeah, the characters just happen to be from Halloween Town. Exactly, which is why I've always been of the opinion that it's a Christmas movie. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you can't decide, just watch it on Thanksgiving. It's right, just what I do. It's right in the middle. But I just find it interesting that, like, actually, I, so I did, like, a, I did, like, a mild survey over the last, like, several months when we were talking about this topic before to sort of get, like, a feel for people. I'd be like, you know, people that come through, like, my, my line at work and mm-hmm. um, people that I either know or I might suspect might be familiar. They'd be like, hey, are you familiar with Nine Before Christmas? And they're like, yeah, it's a great movie. And it's like, all right, I have a question for you. It's like, do you consider it a Halloween or a Christmas movie? And they're like, well, I can kind of consider it both. I'm like, yeah, but if you had to choose, which one would it be? And they're, every single one of them always chose Christmas. Yeah, I mean, because I think it's both too. But I think yeah. it leans more heavily towards Christmas. Mm-hmm. And so, like, it's a movie that you should be able to both enjoy on Halloween and on Christmas. Mm-hmm. But because I believe it leans towards Christmas, that's when I personally like to watch it. Yeah, because yeah, I mean, Jack goes to Christmas Town. He's tired of being the Pumpkin King. He, you know, he, he needs a new new spice in his life. Yeah, which he should know. try this stuff. Yeah, <laughs> which is a nice lead into you know our sort of other topic that we wanted to discuss. Which is, is Nightmare Before Christmas literally about Jack having a midlife crisis? And I say it is. It uh, absolutely is. It totally is. super, super duper about Nightmare Before Christmas. He's just not buying a sports car. Yeah. 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 Christmas is his sports car. It is. It's his sports car. Christmas is his sports car. I mean, uh, in my opinion, he's, he's showing like typical signs of of a stereotypical midlife crisis which is he wants something different he wants something yeah. new he yeah. wants something like, exciting even though, because he's bored yeah even yeah. though he's you know the best at what he does for like centuries or whatever and he's just like he's the king of halloween town of the pumpkin patch everyone and, loves him he yeah he, he does still love his job but at the yeah. same time it's just it's the same thing every it's year. It's like drinking water for your entire life and just then suddenly wanting, having a soda. And suddenly wanting to... Which, him going to... Falling into Christmas Town after wandering the forest in misery. And well, it's the like... The snow. Waking up in snow. That was his soda pop. Yeah. It's like, like no, it's like the it's like the midlife crisis guy driving by the dealership and going, I want the shiny red sports car in the lot. And not this minivan. Yeah, that he's been driving his kids around to soccer practice every week for the past five, ten, how many years. He wants something new and exciting. And so does Jack. And Christmas is new and exciting. It is With very all the exciting. snow and the lights and the cheering and the baking things and the presents. And, and it's so, it's so, joy. so different from what he's used to. And he's just like, I gotta get on that. Yeah. <clears throat> what makes you, uh, what, what do you think made him go straight for Christmas Town? Because the, there, because he, he, there did, were, he, he fell into Christmas Town. Well, I mean, he, he kind okay, of, he, he focused noticed, on it. He noticed the, the, the shininess, I think, of the tree. Because yeah. Because yeah. like, of, this wonderment about it, this sort of magical aura about this Christmas because door. let's face it's, it, it's, Christmas is very magical. It has a magical it is. aura. Yeah, yeah, and it's and it was very lively compared to all his dead stick trees. It's just like that, and so he kind of really paid attention to it, but, but kind of ignored all the other. Well, doors. Because if you look at all the other doors, the yeah. Thanksgiving one is a turkey. Yeah, yeah. so meh. And the Easter one it was, it was like an, an egg. egg. Yeah, it was yeah. Like a great egg. Meh. Valentine's Day was a heart. Christmas. St. Patrick's Day yeah. was a clover. Christmas was just like this covered shiny, in little shiny yeah. bobbles and. That's a great word. Bobbles? Yeah. That's a good yeah. word. So then he just, like, gets into it, and he's like, I'm gonna bring this back, and I'm gonna share it with everyone. But this is mostly about me. <laughs> yeah. So it's just, like, him trying something new, and, like, despite, you know, the the dangers that it seems to be presenting, like, his, his lady friend's just like, I don't know about this, Jack. I think his maybe lady should, friend, his think, lady friend, which was the new and exciting thing in front of him the entire movie. Yeah. yeah. And he was so blinded by a shiny red sports blinded car. Blinded by the car. Christmas. Hey, Christmas stop. Said it's You're white. gonna stop. Yeah. I'll just <laughs> um, 
But yeah, it's just injuries. Like, he's just going forward through the whole thing. And he's like, even though, like, again, like, in the, the sports car analogy, it's dangerous if you're going too fast. You take, yep. a, you take a corner too, too hard and you go for a tumble and it's an accident and it's bad, which ends up happening. He gets in over his head and he gets shot out of the sky and he crashes. Yeah, because uh, he doesn't quite get the concept of Christmas not being skeletal and stuff, and so he scares the shit out of the military. They're like, what is that? Yeah. <laughs> so, and then, you know, that moment where he's like, okay, uh, this obviously wasn't a good idea. Yeah. This <laughs> this was a mistake. And I screwed up. Where's like, Santa it's like, Claus? Wow, it's, like I, it's like, I actually had a really good, and I didn't need this whole Christmas thing after all. Like, I was, I was top-notch. Yeah. I need he to, totaled that sports car. I need to oh, yeah. fix. I need to fix what I broke, kind of thing. And so then he goes back and he fixes it and he saves the day and he's the pumpkin king again and he's got a new lease on life after his, you know, crisis. and a wonderful new lady friend. Yeah. Yay! Yay! Which I'm sure somewhere down the line, Sally's gonna be like, "Hey, remember that time you decided to be a prick and try to steal Christmas? Please don't remind me." <laughs> Well, it's that time of year again. Please don't remind me. <laughs> Let's go say hi to Santa Claus. He doesn't want to see me. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Nine Before Christmas is a Christmas movie and mm-hmm. about Jack having a midlife crisis. I have a question for you. I have an answer. This is a fun question for us. Do tell. Out of all the toys that Jack made for his Christmas, which one do you want? I want the vampire teddy. Yeah, I want the vampire teddy. I want the duck. Of course you do. You would the rolly want the duck. duck with yeah. the teeth and the yeah. But I like the vampire teddy, and that's what yeah, I want. Yeah, it's so cute. It's adorable. I mean, I might want the giant snake, but that's not... the snake reef. Yeah, yeah, the snake reef. Yeah, it's like here, eat, eat these pesky Mormons coming up to my door. Okay, but the white the white Christmas tree with the black baubles on it that turned into bats, that was cool, yes, too. Yes, that, that was, was really cool. That was cool. But my choice is the rolly duck with the I, I still yeah. think I'm going to go with the vampire teddy. Vampire teddy. Like the, undead, the, the undead ducky. I want the vampire teddy. That's what I want. Can you imagine that thing trying to gnaw on you? Because it's alive. It's like, you can't gnaw on me. You're made of cloth. <laughs> I, I would probably name they, like, him felt teeth. Yeah, I'd probably name him something like a uh, like the count. Ah ah ah! He's my favorite from Sesame Street. <laughs> you like Cookie Monster? I love Cookie Monster, but that's off topic. And that's a different show. <laughs> <laughs> oh look, presents from Sandy Claus. Yay! Mine's upside down. And just hike up my skirt. So apparently we have presents. Yeah. And these are little, um, I believe they're Funko. Yeah, they're Funko. Yeah. Who make Vinyl the, figures. Who make the ever popular pop vinyls. Some little pop figurines. <laughs> they're so cute. Like this. <laughs> Hello, Hawkeye. And, and our, Hawkeye's pay, paying a and, visit. And, uh, and our director. Our director, and, Ultron. Uh, governor's in there drunk. <laughs> We've got Governor here. Yay. So yeah, same people that made these. And um, we picked up ours at Barnes and Noble, yep. but I'm sure you could find them. I believe like Hot Topic might have them. Oh, probably. probably. They kind of have a monopoly on Nightmare Before Christmas, it seems. Um, so they're just little blind boxes. Blind boxes are very popular now. Yeah, well, it's because they're so fun. Don't know if it yeah, mine's not even. Well, I'm just sticking my yeah. finger under there. So we're I'm a little of... slow because I have skeletal. I have bony fingers. Do you think that'd make it easier to open? You just poke right through it. Well, I guess she's not a Scottish woman or a Scottish <laughs> oh, it's, nun. It's, yeah. Oh, oh, it's glued. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, uh, so yeah. So we're gonna open these as a part of our special. See what we get. I got a black bag. I wonder if Sandy Claus is in it. <laughs> That'll be funny. Sandy Claus is one of the options. same time it's funny. Santa Claus is cute though. Oh my god it's adorable! 
I like. I got Sally with her little gift basket for Jack. Oh, <laughs> he's drunk. I think he's had a little. Oh, little too much spice. Oh, she's really top heavy. She will not sit forward. All the girls are top heavy. What's your deal, Funko? I know. Boobs. No, it's the head oh, and know. the tiny bodies. <laughs> I know. I just. Moxie and Kasima, they just go. So it looks like your options are um, Jack with like some goggles on. Yeah. Sandy Claus. Sally. Um, the big, like, uh, monster. monster under, was the monster he's the one under the bed. With yeah. The long fingers. He's so cute. He's the, oh, the, the clown. clown with the tearaway face. Uh, the, the, the guy with uh, the axe in his head. Yeah. yeah. Who, who goes bunny. Because he likes, he likes the Easter bunny. Yeah. We've got the vampire. <laughs> the, like... Mountain. The big I don't mountain. Know. He's got the big mouth. He's got like yeah, the mouth that goes all the Isn't way around from his under head. the stairs. Yes, he is the he's one the one from under the, under the stairs. stairs. We've got Jack as the Pumpkin King, which, the Halloween Town, which I would have signed Pumpkin up. That. I so know. Cute. And then we have Shock, Barrel, and Lock, which they should have done Lock, Shock, and Barrel. Yeah, I should have had it in the order because it just comes off the tongue wrong. Yeah, Shock, Barrel, and Lock. Kind of wish I had Barrel, but they're yeah. all really cute. They are. I like my Sally. I like my Santa. I like her lips are a heart. Are they really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. <laughs> oh crap! You're determined to do that. Oh, I am so determined. This is gonna be. Wait, wait. I think it'll be better this way because his head is flat and Santa is. <laughs> is his is his big <laughs> holiday skirt gonna protect the vampire from the sun? Maybe. <laughs> Stop it! I'm trying to balance him. It's not gonna work. Yeah! Yeah! It's not gonna work. She barely stands up on her own. <laughs> you're gonna knock him over! No, 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 you're gonna knock him over. As soon as I put it down, you're gonna try and do it. No, I'm not. You're, cause you're, cause the, she's really, she's not gonna. Yeah, see? She won't, yeah, she won't even stand up on her own. There we go. I wonder how long they'll stay like that. I don't know. I'm really hot. Are we taking some bets here? <sighs> no. You are the devil. I I know. It's so hot. Yeah, you're sweating a little at the temples. Uh, Why are you so hot? I don't know. I'm encased in fire. <laughs> All right. So uh, that about wraps it up for our special Christmas episode. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Follow us on social media: Facebook, Twitter. Tumblr. Tumblr. And, uh, yeah. Have a happy Christmas. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so ashamed of myself right now. I love that you forgot that you couldn't drink it. <laughs> <laughs>